So in this video, I want to prove by induction that the sum of r cubed from r is 1 to n is 1 quarter n squared times n plus 1 squared. OK, so step number one. Prove true for n equals 1. So substituting n equals 1 into the left-hand side just pop it like that, is the sum of r cubed from r is 1 up to 1. And so that would be just substituting in the 1, and so I get 1. For the right-hand side, substituting in the 1, I get 1 quarter times 1 squared times 1 plus 1 squared, so 2 squared. So that's a quarter times 4, which is 1. So we've got the left-hand side equals the right-hand side, and so it is true for n equals 1. Step number 2. Assume true for n equals k. So I'm going to put the sum for, of r cubed from r is 1 to k equal to 1 quarter k squared k plus 1 squared. Step 3. Assuming that it's true for n equals k, we're going to prove true for n equals k plus 1. So we want to find the summation of r cubed from r equals 1 up to k plus 1. Now splitting the summation as we've been doing, we can write that as the sum for 1 up to k, and then we've got that extra term, the k plus 1 term, so substitute that in and I get k plus 1 cubed into that. Okay, so it replaces the r. Now, seeing as I've assumed true for n equals k, this thing here, this summation, I can replace with this 1 quarter k squared times k plus 1 squared. And I've got that k plus 1 cubed on the end there. So what do I want to do from here? Well, my target, my goal here, is to make sure that I can factorise that into a form where I get it identical to this, but with the n replaced with k plus 1. So what I should end up with is 1 quarter times k plus 1 squared times k plus 1 plus 1, so k plus 2 all squared. OK? So let's have a look at this. What have I got? I've got this common factor of the k plus 1 squared in both of them. So k plus 1 squared can be pulled outside. What I've got left is a quarter k squared plus an extra k plus 1. Now I know I want to end up with a quarter outside. So to pull the quarter outside, I must multiply everything in that bracket here by 4. That is in order for it to work backwards. 1 quarter times this term gets me that term. A quarter times 4k gets me the k. And a quarter times 4 gets me the 1. So they are equivalent. Now this bracket here factorises to k plus 2 squared. And I've arrived at precisely what I thought I should arrive at. 1 quarter k plus 1 squared k plus 2 squared. OK? And so I've proved it for n equals k plus 1. Finally, the concluding statement. So, as true for n equals 1, and if true for n equals k, then true for n equals k plus 1. Well, I'll put so true for all n greater than or equal to 1. And that's my concluding statement. OK? I have proved each of the stages required. And so this statement is true as shown by induction.